This happened last time. The question is, you know, if this application could actually be a stellar substitution for a piano teacher. At this point, I'm starting to think that the application cheats on us. Did you have problems with the rhythm not working correctly? Oh, I know this. That was exactly on the rhythm, but it didn't work. Okay, so is it fun to use this application? Yes, it's fun. Is it difficult? A little bit sometimes. Do you think you will be using this app for a long time? Maybe, because I like piano. Have you learned a lot from this app? Maybe half. Half of what? Half of the application, or maybe quarter. Oh, you think you went through that much? Maybe eight. Yeah, I think there might be more in there. Because you, yeah, you mean of the essentials, maybe, right? Of the essentials, I'm almost finished. Mm -hmm. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Yeah, so you, do you feel like you play the piano better now than when you started, than before you started this app? I think so. Anything else you want to say about this app? I love it! I don't like it, but I love it! When playing songs with both hands, we'll often use our left hand for playing chords. Let's practice a new chord using some notes we've already learned. Remember, here's low C. Find the notes low F and low G on the keyboard. Played with fingers number two and one. You're almost ready to start playing with both hands together. Before we begin, let's make sure your hands are in the right place on the piano. Place your right hand thumb on middle C. I have learned to do with both hands together, but I think it's easier than I thought. Altogether, Selena has put down, I don't know, maybe about four hours playing the piano with this app. She had no prior experience, so I think this shows the potential for easy learning with the application. I'm sure there are many, you know, similar applications on the market, but this is the one we happen to try. Artificial intelligence has made learning all across the board a lot easier for everyone. Yeah, so I think this is a really good application where they have really managed to leverage AI to help in the best way possible for the child. Um, I don't really have a lot of negative to say about this. Maybe the only thing would be that sometimes when you press the right note on the keyboard, the app doesn't react uh, correctly. I tried this myself actually because I used to play piano in the past and sometimes it's like 
even though you're on the note and you're on the time, it still doesn't register, but I guess this can be due to many different things. Maybe it has to do with the kind of keyboard you're using or something like that. And it's not really a problem all of the time, just sometimes. So Selena, so all over, did you like the application? Yes! What do you think was the best thing or some of the best things with this application? To play with the songs. Mm, to practice playing the piano with songs yes. playing in the background. And two hands. Yeah. Hey, you started to play with two hands after just five days, right? Is it easy to use? Yeah. What did you not like about the application? Of the stars. Oh, you mean the rating system? I think. Okay. So they have a system where they rate your performance, right? What do you mean? The stars, you mean after you complete a task? or a lesson, you get stars? No, I, I have three stars and I have three songs and I must complete the songs to complete the stars. Oh, okay, so you didn't like the fact that you have to follow the program exactly how they set it up to. You want it to be more flexible. That's what we got. So I hope you enjoy the uh, review and everything, the application. So. See you on the other side. Bye bye. Heart, my reggae friend. <laughs> you mind blow, I've been kidding, man.